Did you know that factories go through hundreds of iterations before a toy goes to the market? Then a lot of them gets bamboozled by the workers. But why? It all comes down to the workers not wanting trains getting sold in the secondary market. Well, today I'm going to review these five Thomas Wood Railway concept models that survived the Holocaust. Fire truck. Paper graphics, beveled funnels, undated wheels. These five models were initially designed on April 17, 1993, also known as the Shining Time Station era. These five trains evolved into something incredible that words cannot even describe it. This red fire truck evolved into Crosby Cargo Truck. Yeah. But they went through a lot of iterations before they finalized the design. What do I mean by iterations? Phase 1. This is where we conceptualize the design of the actual fire truck itself. In this phase, we want to see the abstract look. We use paper decals, roughly put them together, and judgment day. We asked the government, CIA agent, my mom, to see if it was worth it or not. Graphics. This is where we print the graphics with ink, and from this fire truck, we get to learn a very cool fact here. Forestville is a small town located in upstate New York, so most likely in 1993, Thomas Wooden Railway trains were manufactured in Forestville. Fire truck. Cool. But is there an actual fire truck in the Thomas TV show? This is where we had to transition the fire truck design to a cargo truck. Here they reshape the body to look more like a truck and they have different drivers too. The firefighter is a cool guy, he has his cap back, and the truck driver, he's a stud. Phase 4 final product. And this is how Crosby Cargo Truck came to be. The final product has the actual cargo bed. The color of the body transitioned from a brighter red to magenta and black, white, and red graphics got simplified to just black and white. Now, I have a challenge for you guys. I'm going to see how good of a detective all of you are and I'm going to hide these three trains in the background. Put down the timestamps in the comments and this will help you enter the 3000 sub giveaway. Subscribe guys. Police car and blue car. Both police car and blue car resembled the yellow Sir Topham Hatt's car. The police car was the very first concept design. It has the beveled sirens, shiny time station police graphics, but no headlights. As they went through more iterations, they added headlights starting with the blue car. Fun fact, the headlights are magnetic and someone got rid of the back magnets. But with that being said, they did go through multiple color variants. This is a green Sir Topham Hatt's car owned by Aiden. This green car has a longer front and shorter trunk. Although the shape is different, it looks like the width of the car is the same as the other concept models. Police car, blue car, green car later becomes Sir Topham Hatt's car. Now this Sir Topham Hatt's car is where it gets crazy. I'm just kidding. It's just another car with a license plate printed in different locations. But this car is special and let me tell you why. At first glance, you might think it's a 1994 but you are wrong. Let's start with the magnets. It's not a 1992 or a 1994 magnet. 1992 magnets are very flat with smooth machine sides while 1994 have beveled edges with circular indents. This magnet has beveled edges like the 1994 but does not have the circular indents. Just like the 1994, it has rounded edges, white license plate, but check the wheels. It uses the train wheels instead of the car wheels. And also, it has a different shaped body. School bus. This school bus evolved into Birdie. This uses paper decals and the window decal is made out of one single paper. I wonder what paper they used. If we examine the yellow, we see some green dots on them. And supposedly, this bus also had a printed variant. Trevor the Traction Engine owns this bus and if I get a picture, I will post a link down in the description. This model later evolved into Birdie the Bus. Similar graphics as the cargo truck is her top of mass car and a little lighter magenta than the cargo truck itself. 
And this is a huge transformation. They did a wonderful job. But later they had to get rid of the passenger and reason why is because of this guy with a cigar. Stay healthy everyone. Steam engine. Although it doesn't look anything like a Thomas train, this steam engine was a design made for Thomas. It uses Thomas wheels, beveled funnels, and the design resembles Duck, Rusty, Oliver. Well this is where it all goes wrong. This was meant for Thomas Wooden Railway, but that's not all. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.